everybody, how are we all? Paul79 here, I hope you're safe and well. Welcome to part eight of my uh, home EV build where I am uh, hoping to try and electrify a Porsche Boxster and also make it look like a GT3 RS. Yeah, I know it's a tall order, but you know, we try. Um, so on this week's uh, episode, what I am going to show you is how I have constructed the battery packs. So using the Tesla modules, putting them in the boxes and, you know, so they'll ultimately be mounted into the car. Now, there's a lot involved here because you have to think about connecting the batteries up with the bus bar. So you've got the electronic side. You've also got the coolant side because the Tesla modules are sort of water cooled um, and you have to get involved with sort of pipe work, etc. So, um, yeah, without further ado, let's crack on. See you later. So here we have a battery pack that's ready to go in the box. Um, it consists of four Tesla modules mounted on their sides, not on top of each other. The reason why we do that is to um, because of the weight. You know, if you if you stack them up one on top of the, each other, you know, you've got a lot of weight on the bottom one. So the idea is is you stand them up on their sides. Each one has this uh, these side rails, which are very very strong, and they also have this this lip here. Um, so the idea is, is what we do is we make a sort of a, a mounting plate out of rubber. And this is what I've got here. So <clears throat> the way you do it is, um, yeah, you cut strips of thick rubber. Now this is, um, this is like one mil thick rubber like that. So what I've done is I've cut them into strips. So basically I stack the four batteries up as close to each other as possible. And I did it from the top because the position of this rail is the side this this bit that sticks up is the same either side and i created my strips like that laid them on the top of the batteries with them all stuck stuck up uh, stood up and then just stuck them together with tape you see so then it creates sort of like a doormat and then when you um create the uh, when you when you put all the uh, Tesla modules together they slot in here and it holds them in place I also made this sort of jig thing that I uh, out of just a, some spare wood that I've got so when you're sort of stacking them up in case they fall over which is quite you know it's quite difficult to topple them over because they're so heavy but yeah that just gave me an extra bit of um, reassurance um, as I was building them up so if we go around the modules um, so on one side you have the coolant system or the, the coolant pipes and then on the other side you have all the bus bars and the high voltage connectors. So if we go through the cooling side of things, um, basically every batch um, module uh, will have two pipes, yeah? One at the top and one at the bottom in this case, yeah? And that is basically for the coolant to keep the batteries cool. And uh, coolant will run in through one pipe around the battery and come out again. Now the way you wire these up, you don't wire them up in sort of series like you would do with the batteries. You basically want to have a set of pipes that all go into the uh, batteries and a set of pipes that come out of the batteries, yeah? Otherwise you'll just be moving warm coolant from battery to battery. So there are many ways to do this. I went through many iterations. I've seen on the internet, you know, people make sort of pipes like this, all with pipes and sort of, you know, T pieces, L pieces, etc., etc. But in the end, because my boxes are so tight at each side or each end, I went with these manifolds. So these are from Felton or Zero EV, and they're perfectly designed for the Tesla modules because the gaps of the pipes you see at the top are designed to marry up with the Tesla batteries. So, and you can cut these down or you can join them up, just made of steel. Um, so in this case, they come in sets of five. So uh, I only needed four here. So the idea was, um, basically I've got the manifold here, I've got silicone pipes going up to there, and then on this, on each end of it, 
I basically bought something like this um, elbow that I've cut down because the idea is is then this pipe will come out the side of the box and uh, with my boxes like I said there's not a lot of room in here but base so basically when you use the silicone pipe it's able to these are able to sort of move either way and the sort of the longer the pipe you make here the more sort of flexible flexibility you have but yeah it took me a while but um uh i'm glad i've done it this way it was sort of a lot simpler um it was a very expensive process for me because i spent hundreds of pounds in the end on all sorts of pipes and clips but yeah um <coughs> it was worth it so now on to the business end um so what we have here is the four modules all joined using uh, specially designed bus bars again these are from felton they're the perfect shape to link um, tesla modules together so basically when you look at a tesla module standing in front of you or sorry on on the bench you have the connectors here left and right so basically that one is negative and that one is positive right so you join them you know positive um sorry positive to negative positive to negative blah 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 and then i have a connection here that will come out through the box and i have another connection here again that will come out through the box and i will have then external connectors to wire all the boxes together now <coughs> the uh the tesla modules have had their uh, bms boards replaced with the felton ones you can't really see that because i've got tape over it and then here is all the bms wiring now when you construct these you want to have all the bms wiring done and you have to sort of do it a stage at the time so basically put your first module in right plug in your bms wire second module connect the bus bar um you know do it all up tight etc etc and then plug your second module second uh, bms in and so forth but the reason i say that is what if you connect the bus bars up first it's going to be a hell of a job to get the connectors inside here because there is just no room so yeah you build it up in stages okay so another thing I should have said right at the start, and I'm sorry about this, but you've got to make sure you've got your straps in place, right? And you need to do this right at the start. So if you imagine you're constructing it on your doormat like this, put the straps underneath to start with, um, because you're not going to be able to get them underneath <laughs> once it's all together. So the point of these is, you know, pretty obvious. This middle one just holds things together likewise do the two outer ones but i also use these to lift the battery pack up into the box um these are just luggage straps they've got you know a tension capacity of 250 kilos each one of these modules is about 25 so there's 100 kilos there so that is fine to lift up you need an engine crane um because i don't think it'd be possible to you do it you know lift it with two people but also, what's very handy is you get yourself a balancer, right? Not just because, you know, it's got two sort of hanging points, but also when you're moving these into boxes, sometimes it's quite useful to tip the battery pack, you know, sort of forwards or, or down and up like that. And you can do that with the balancer. And also because these straps won't be perfectly uh, symmetrical either. So um, that's been uh, a lucky godsend for me using this, this balancer here. And finally, when you're sort of happy with everything, each Tesla module on one side has, on these sort of rails, they have holes, right? And what I've done is I've put in a long threaded bar and then bolted them basically together. It's a bit of a faff getting the nuts through, it takes a while, but now that's another sort of thing that's holding the whole thing together. So you've got the, those metal threaded bars, you've got the straps here, you've got these straps here. And when you put the um, 
when you put the, the the modules into the box just leave the straps there you know they're not going to do any harm and if you ever need to take them out you know it's easy you just lift them out again so here is the box that these four modules are going to go into so i've had to measure and drill these holes here so that's for the coolant pipes to poke through and then on the other side we have holes for the connectors I actually put that one in the wrong position so I'm gonna have to blank that off but basically there'll be one there and one there um, and then I have a hole here for the BMS wire to come through that's in the wrong place I'm gonna have to blank that off but yeah I make these mistakes so uh, you don't have to so I will so I will pick this up with the crane and gradually lower it in. And the first thing I do is I get the coolant pipes through and these have to be bent back on themselves or, or pushed down as the thing lowers in. And once it's sort of in place and those two pipes are poking through, you can lift it up ever so slightly and then shove the thing along, yeah? So these pipes, so these things are right up against this side because then, it gives you more room to do the connections here because these are very tight. You might be using different boxes that have a bit more space at the at each end there, but you know, I've had to sort of work things out as, I, as I've gone along. So finally, here we have one where the modules are already in place. Um, so there's only three in this case, but the same sort of theory applies. So it's in the box, you've got the coolant pipes, poking through. I'm currently testing them for the hundredth time to make sure that they don't leak. Um, so what I've got is basically a bike valve here and a pressure sensor here. I just pump them up with a hand bike pump um, and see if they hold the pressure and it's been like that overnight. So I think we're all good here. Touch wood. Um, and then if we come around this side, oh, not a lot of room here. <sighs> So, this is what I'm talking about. So, I have my connectors here. All right. So, that's negative, that's positive. And the way it works is you can see I've had to make myself a cable, high voltage cable with two lugs at the end, one that's attached there, and then the other one attaches to this, that's then screwed to the outside of the box. And then likewise, I have a cable here, and that goes down. Can't see it very well, but it's a very short cable like this. You could use a buzz bar, you could use whatever, you know, but you'd have to sort of make the buzz bar, but effectively this is what this is. So basically, you know, you can imagine top mounts to the battery, and then the bottom goes to the connector there. Um, and basically the same here. So now, you know, I can connect them up or disconnect them from the outside. And then here we have the BMS cable, the wiring just coming out here. You obviously want to test before you put it in the box. And as you go along, you want to test that, you know, everything is still working on the BMS side. Um, what have I got? So I've got this thing here. In the end, I bought one. It's probably the best 400 quid of my life. I've spent in my life. But yeah, um, that's that's sort of ready to go. Um, so the idea is, is that other box will go on top of here and then put the other four on here. And then we can start uh, thinking about the, the junction, the high voltage junction box as well. I will put some sort of just rubber, probably put some floor tiles like this on top of here. So when the lid goes on, it's compressed down to to, uh, to stop them moving. So there you go, gang. Um, that's how I've been doing my uh, battery modules into the boxes. Um, it was a long process. A lot of it was just working out how to do things because, um, you know, no, no one's ever done it quite in the same way, well, that I know of. So yeah, a lot of it is trial and error wasting money trying things asking people but yeah hopefully this will help you if you're thinking of doing something similar and uh, you won't you won't waste as much time and money as i have uh, of doing it but it's all good i'm really excited i'm really enjoying how things are going right now so um 
so that's it for this video um next week or next week or hopefully next week but um next time um i'll be talking through the high voltage junction box which is an integral part of uh, of any ev build and uh, i will show you how i've built that and uh, and how to connect that all up but anyway till next time take care everyone Bye bye